The Australian Ghost Whisperer, with Katerina Legato and James Jennings. Hello everybody, we are at an antique shop in the Blue Mountains today. Uh, now you may have seen horror films in the past, like Annabelle, it's like about a haunted doll, which might seem crazy, but it turns out that spirits and energies can actually attach themselves to old things, like the kind of stuff you see in antique stores. Would I be correct in saying that, Kat? Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to go and do some antique shopping and um, tell you a little bit about our findings as we go along. Might find some haunted dolls, who knows? Yeah. So this, this mask here has definitely got a really creepy vibe about it. I feel like it has been worn by somebody who was hiding behind it, like dark, didn't want to be seen. Um, it feels like it's got this very old kind of mystical, but dark mystical energy about it. So perhaps it was used in like, um, you know, rituals, like dark rituals, witchcraft. That's the, that's the vibe I'm getting with that, that, that mask there. I feel like this is a really old vintage baptism dress and I feel like the baby, unfortunately the energy I'm reading off that is that the baby died not long after being baptised. And I just feel like the energy of that baby is is still on this dress. And I feel the sadness. I can hear the parents crying. I feel like this was their firstborn and I can hear them crying. Very sad. Very. Uh, there's so much sadness on this dress. Just get like a really, I don't know, like a negative feel. I would not have this in my home. I feel like it's just holding really negative energy. And also it's got a lot to do with whomever carved it. Maybe they were not in a very happy space when they made it. I just feel sad and she even looks sad and her eyes to me look quite dark. So I get like a really dark, eerie feeling just standing here near this um, carved statue. Mm. Doll that is definitely haunted. I feel like it's got an energy attached to it of different girls, different people that have owned it. It's very creepy. Very creepy. Sad. Um, I just feel like this goat was sacrificed in some sort of a black magic ritual where they use um, sacrifice animals to the demons or to, the, to their dark gods. So I feel like very sad. I feel like it's not that the spirit's still attached to it, but I feel the trauma of the animal and the fear that that animal would have transpired before it died. Very sad. As I look at these dolls, I feel like they they almost feel real. Like they've been owned for so long by so many people that everyone's injected a part of their, every child that's owned it has almost injected a part of their energy into it. That they're just so filled with energy that they kind of just, you know, kind of it can feel the energy like of all the different people who've owned it. Like there's all this, energy just res coming out of them it's so creepy but I feel like this one especially I feel like she these two I feel like maybe came out of some very haunted house very dark very I don't know not, not happy not happy family not happy children it's not got a good energy about them they're really creepy they really are they're not pretty. They're not something I'd buy and take home. I think this is why you have to be so careful of buying stuff like this. And there's some more dolls behind us here. 
yeah as i look at these dolls again i'm feeling like some of them feel playful and happy but others feel like they belong to children that were unhappy or they belong to children that kind of passed away that they held them while they were sick or they were in hospital and so these dolls kept them company so it feels like these dolls i feel like energy of sickness and crying and sadness with some of these dolls that they were just given away because they you know reminded the parents of a very sad time so yeah they're just all carrying an, a, a, a quite a lot of energy all these antiques are just making me feel really eerie and tired exhausting like there's just so much energy in in this in this shop like of all this old old stuff and like i said some of it i can feel like tragedy attached to it and others are um, a little bit happier but overall there's this cocktail of all this energy happening in here and i'm feeling really drained and really tired by it like really mm. it's not it's not enjoyable for me it's just too much I, I feel like there's people wandering around going this belongs to me the spirits are like going this belongs to me this is mine you know you can't sell it you i want it back i feel like these spirits are getting really some of them are quite irate and upset like this is mine how dare you take it so they i can't they, they're just following their loved object and they're just like no it's mine it's mine like that little pram like, i just still see a little girl um you know kind of pushing that little toy that she loved it it's like she's still hanging around that little pram so whoever took it home will be taking home the pram and the little girl and i don't think that would be very good so that's the kind of energy a lot of this stuff has the actual owner attached to it <laughs> so you're taking home quite a bit here <laughs> a free spirit thrown into the mix yeah even buy, one, buy one object get go, one yeah, goes free get one free like this feels really yuck like i get oh, i got not a good vibe off that like this like i feel like this child was forced to study lived in a family where they had to study and study like i just get this really a little boy and it's like he had to study and know each country and just forced to study so much and just very very no not happy not happy vibe not happy learning so yeah i just think time to get out of here i've had enough there's so many spirits in here Here's one that you might want to take home. I see the great vibe about this one. It's just awful. Like, you know, you put this kind of energy into your home, you know, you're asking for trouble. So I've, I've been on ca I've been on camera duty while Kat's been looking at the uh, haunted haunted merchandise, and I gotta say as well, like I feel really heavy in here. Like there's, I said to Kat as soon as I walked in, like I feel like there's a weight on my body, and uh, like a lethargy, like a sleepiness. Um, mm -hmm. It's not it's not it's not good. It's not a good feeling. It's not a Very good creepy. feeling. Oh, let's get out of here. Very uh, creepy. Look, guys. <laughs> let's take that one home, huh? <laughs> We'll be back after this quick break. Hello everyone, James and Katarina from the Australian Ghost Whisperer here. Just letting you know that we are now doing house and business clearings. We've been having a lot of inquiries, so I thought we would let you know. If you don't know what that is, Katarina, please explain. Yes, yeah, so a house or business may be haunted or have stagnant and negative energy from previous owners. Maybe someone's put the evil eye on you or you're dealing with psychic attacks, curses, or demonic interference which may cause physical and spiritual illness to you and your family members 
like to also let you know that I've written two books on the paranormal and I'm highly experienced in the process of cleansing and clearing these disturbing interferences and turn your place into a loving, light-filled sanctuary. Katarina is also available for healings and exorcisms if that is something you may need. And if you'd like to read some testimonials from Katarina's satisfied clients, you can do so at her website, which is katarinalegato.com.au. We also did a video recently where we cleared a house of spirits and we have a response from the very happy owner. We'll put that in the comments below so you can see a link to that. If you would like to get in touch with us, you can do so via email, which is australianghostwhisperer at gmail.com, or you can give us a call on 0404 258 949. And we are based in Sydney, but we're also happy to travel interstate and we are absolutely happy to help. Happy to help and see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 So Katarina, thank God we are at that incredibly dense, gross, heavy energy of the antique store. We found a nice tree and some nature to be amongst. Hallelujah for that. Um, so I have questions. I have yes. questions. And, and my big question is, going in, into an antique store, why do spirits and energies attach themselves to physical objects? It just seems crazy. Mm. Like if I was dead, I'd just be like, peace out, I'm out of here, mm. have my vinyl collection, I don't care, I'm gone. Why do spirits and energy actually attach themselves to objects? Because a lot of people are incredibly obsessed with their items, you right. know. Um, so when people die, they can't let go of their favourite things. Mm. So they will stay attached. That's why when you, you know, we've just been come out of that um, antique shop, same, I feel so tired and drained because I was feeling all the emotions yeah. of all the people that were attached to the items in that um, antique shop. And um, it was just overwhelming. I just was like feeling my own heart like it began beating really fast and I just felt really like oh, I was gonna pass out in there so um, it just shows how incredibly you know kind of people can be about their stuff yeah and so they yeah. don't realize that okay we, we can enjoy our stuff while we're here in this physical world why not if you own it and you're enjoying it but you can't be obsessive over it. you've got to no. be ready to let it go and move on because also those those spirits in there that are attached to all that stuff they can't be happy. No, you can't. I mean, no they're way. just living there and they're just going to, whoever buys whatever their item is, that spirit's going to go with them and be in their home and be um, worried about how they're treating whatever it is they've bought from the antique shop. Mm. And so it's really important when you buy something in an antique shop to perhaps leave it out in the sun for a few days mm -hmm. or do some sort of cleansing of the object. And But that's hard. Again, if you've got a spirit attached to it, unless you know how to cross over a soul, mm -hmm. that's going to be difficult. And I remember that reminds me of many, many years ago, a friend of mine had bought this picture of a soldier in an antique shop and he was still attached to the picture yeah right. so she called me over and i had to release the spirit so that's why i think that we needed to come out of the, the those um, antique shops and actually stand in mother earth so you know again if you love going antique shopping there's nothing wrong with that but i think be aware that you're going to have a lot of energy sitting around you yeah so it's really good after you've gone you know and spent a day antique shopping to actually get out in the sun hug a tree you know reground yourself you know take your shoes off and stand in the grass and just release all that pent-up energy that your energy field will have picked up because you don't mm. want to take that energy into your home right so grounding is the best technique to deal with heavy dense environments oh, like yeah. that take yeah. shoes off hug a tree that's mm. that's the way to do it i found that harder than going into you know the hotels and all those spirits in the i feel because it's so much more compressed isn't it it's mm. all in a store and it's all compressed and yeah it's like a, it's like boxed in heavy energy and it's really hard to describe the sensation, but I feel like... being in a morgue. Yeah. Well, not that I've been in a morgue. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, like my 
my body felt heavier. Yeah. I felt more like I was sinking into the ground. Because like su they suck on your energy. So uh, these spirits, wherever there are any lost souls, they tend to just leech our energy from us because it's like, oh, here comes a nice, you know, kind of living person. So let me take some light yeah. and energy, life force from them because it energizes them. Yep, yep. So, um, yeah, I, you know, I'm not saying not to buy antiques, but be very careful to have them cleansed properly. Yep. Because I have gone, you know, over my years into many houses that where they do collect a lot of antiques and they generally have so many issues and problems with um, spirits and things moving in their home and arguments. You know, you can buy a piece from from an antique shop and it maybe it came from a home that was really unhappy where there yeah, were a lot of arguments. Right. You're bringing that energy, everything's energy, so you're bringing an energy into your home that can be very different to your own. Mm. Mm. Well, if that doesn't make you think twice about antique shopping, I don't know what will, <laughs> <laughs> especially buying creepy dolls. Definitely. Oh, those dolls, yes, mm. some of them were really creepy, hey? They yep. were really like, you could tell, came again from some really tragic circumstances, unhappiness, and yeah, just... I'm the same. I just feel creeped out after that, yeah. all that antique shopping. So I kind of feel like if you buy an antique doll, you're kind of asking for it. You're kind of asking for trouble. <laughs> because they're portrayed in all those horror movies exactly. where they start Annabelle. bouncing around. Yeah. yeah, I know. They have a bad reputation. But some of those dolls really had an energy of unhappiness and tragedy. That a child had died or, you know, had gone from home to home. And they just tend to collect more and more energy. So, of course, any item, the more you know the more energy it collects the more it almost begins to have a life force of its own yeah yeah because everybody's fed it energy you okay. know just by touching something owning something you're giving it your energy yeah. that's why we feel so you know um like you know we were, our items are so important to us because they they, they become a part of us yeah. you know have you ever felt like when you go trade in your car and even though you've bought this nice new car you kind of leave your old car behind and it's like I feel a bit sad doing that. Yeah. It's not that the car's sad, it's just that it's filled with your energy. Yeah. And so you're kind of leaving behind a part of you in that car. Yeah. So it's always good, you know, to send your energy out of, you know, a car or a house if you're leaving once you've sold a house or a car. Just send the energy out, you know, just set the intention to send the energy out so that it's not, you know, moving on to the next person and the next person. Yeah. Yeah, that's really good advice. Yeah, yeah. Everything we own has our energy attached to it. So yeah. if you're giving something away to somebody, know that you are giving a part of your energy to mm. that person. Mm. And, and you've got to think, is, do you want this person to have that part of your energy? You know, if they're not, maybe, you know, you're giving it away to somebody who's quite miserable or unhappy or, you know, it's good. Maybe wash it, take your energy, cleanse your energy off your items and then give them away. Yeah, mm. yeah. Well, maybe a good lesson to not be too materialistic. Don't get too attached yeah. to your stuff. Oh, God, no. Um, but so enjoy I think them you, whilst you're here. Enjoy them while you're here and then let them go. Bless them and let them go. You won't need them on the other side. Exactly. Don't haunt your dolls. Uh, in, uh, but for now, I think that Katarina and I are going to maybe give this tree a bit of a hug. Yeah, we're going to stay and, here uh, a while and hug this tree. You know, hope that no one catches us. Uh, even though we're sharing this on the internet and everyone's going to see anyway, uh, mm -hmm. you know, we're going to hug a tree. Maybe yes, we're going to hug a tree. Turn and away. Thank give us God some privacy. For nature. Yes. <laughs> Bye everybody. Don't forget to please share our videos. And you know, so many people are always asking me about spiritual development. If you are interested in spiritual development, please join the Patreon. Yes. Yeah, and you will have access to all the videos and all the lessons and all the wisdom that I've gained over the years, I'm happy to share it. Yep, and there's a lot to learn. So spiritual development, patreon.com, I think forward slash the Australian Ghost Whisperer. If you Google us, you'll find it. Uh, come check it out. Hope to see you there. If lots not, of love. Yeah, yeah, lots of love. See you next time. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> to gain access to private spiritual development classes, guided meditations, and live Q&As with Katerina, please visit www.patreon that's p a t r e o n.com forward slash the australian ghost whisperer